everybody, my name's Rosie and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. How are you all? I hope you're all doing really, really well. I'm super excited. I went back to Primark. I took loads of bits back and in return, I obviously bought a lot more stuff. Oh my God. Um, When they were like scanning everything through that I was taking back I was like I don't think I'm gonna spend very much on everything that I'm replacing this with and yeah I still spent like 100 pounds but you know some of this will probably go back as well so it's all swings and roundabouts isn't it with Primark at the minute if you are new here you're probably thinking what the f is that noise and it is my little pugs I do have two of them Peggy's uh, just sat back there and Lola is sat under the camera luckily Peggy is the one that snores the loudest and she's the furthest away but you will definitely definitely hear them throughout these videos so just so you know what that is just want to say a big thank you for all of the love on my last Primark haul uh, it means the absolute world and I really really appreciate it don't forget if you haven't already do hit that subscribe button it'll mean the absolute world give me a thumbs up and leave me whatever comments down below because I love chatting to you guys down there right let's not do any long talking and let's just get into it shall we I'm just gonna pick out at random whatever's at the top so first off <laughs> I got this very cute straw bag I don't own a straw bag and do you know what I've seen a few of them and I've always um and ummed and odd and I actually thought this one would be perfect because I think it's pretty timeless. It could go on forever, this bag, should the quality last, which it seems really nice. But you could use this as a beach bag as well as a handbag. Like I just feel like it's a versatile straw bag. Because I would take this to the pub still with the right outfit. Ugh. But I would also take it to the beach or to the pool or, you know, for a day out to the shops or whatever. Like it's a good size bag. It has this zip detail on, which I like and it's got the brown handles and then inside it is super super roomy so yeah i just thought this would come in so handy i really really like it and it was eight pounds for gain and next up i picked up this little sagey bluey colored bag that was so weird my telly just turned on by itself and i thought oh one of the dogs is sat on the remote but no the remote was on the side Anyway, I'm not going to think too much about that. So yeah, back to it before I was really interrupted by the ghosts of my house. Um, I just got this really cute little bag. I just thought this was so adorable. I could just imagine this with so many different outfits. And I just think for this summer, these colours are all the trend. It's got this beautiful plait detail handle, which I just love. And it looks like a really small bag, and it is but it's super roomy inside. I'm fitting everything in there. I can fit my phone, I can fit spare makeup, I can fit my purse and whatever else it is that you might take with you. Like you've got enough room in there. It feels so soft. Like this material is so, so soft. It has a little silver clasp at the front and also an extra handle if you want it to be over the shoulder. But yeah, I just thought this was so cute. Like I really love this color at the minute. Let's stick with bags, shall we? I went a bit bag crazy. I didn't get any bags when I went the last time and this time I was just all over them. So I keep seeing these everywhere and I used to have a bag really similar to this from Kurt Geiger and I loved it. I ended up giving it to my sister but it's like the Chanel inspired bag. It's so cute. These were £12 which I think isn't too bad. Like I wouldn't have wanted to pay any more necessarily for Primark but the detail that's gone into it I can see why it was at the higher end for their bags. So it's got this clasp at the front which opens up like that and it's still quilted up here which is good detail and again it's really roomy inside you've got a good bit of room and a zip pocket in there again not going to worry about being able to fit everything in there i could use this bag in the day as well as going out in the night as well um i love this kind of strap that's what i used to love about my old one it has two handles here which my other one didn't have but what i love about these is you can wear them long or short 
I just love them. You've probably seen them everywhere. I just thought they were so cute. So yeah, £12. And I loved it so much. I couldn't pick between them. So I also got it in white. It was like my easy go-to to go to for the black one like i'm just easily drawn to that then i was like don't have a white bag and actually a white bag could come in so handy it's like a an off-white so again it has the clasp just the same as the black one does but obviously it's in white detail and all of the straps the chain strap is also in white as well so yeah i just think these are going to come in so handy i love them and for 12 quid i'm super happy i picked up a load of sheet masks primark sheet masks are so good i think they're so underrated people just don't talk about them enough um they are atp and they are so nice like so i picked up a load of different ones they're atp each i'll keep some but i also wanted to get some to put into future giveaways as well um you just honestly can't go wrong for the price they are so nice and what i like to do i've spoken about it before but or you always get so much leftover serum that i like to sort of pour it all out and use it on my arms or my legs or my hands or whatever like, i don't like to waste it so yeah, they're nice. Up a couple more of these, didn't I, Hans? Three quid each. Not seen these ones yet. So the first one is Serenity. I just, I'm such a sucker for these because I so enjoyed them last year. Let's see if I can get into it. Mmm, that smells lovely. It's quite perfumey. Oh, so it's got jasmine and vanilla. I can smell the jasmine and hyaluronic acid. If you love jasmine smells, really, really nice. Really happy with that. Oh, and then the pink one is peach and pink guava. Let's give it a sniff. This one's called Harmony. I didn't even read the scents. I just <laughs> saw the packaging and went for it. Mmm, that is so nice. Oh my god, that is... If you love peach scents, which I do, that is absolutely beautiful. I Honestly, for three quid, I love these so much. Like, if you haven't tried them, if you see them, please pick one up because I don't think you'll be disappointed. And if you love that sort of peachy scent, oh, that is beautiful. That is really nice. Is it even one of my hauls if I didn't pick up some of these? I love these. I have too many, but I just... I have to pick them up every time I see them there because I, I think I'm scared that they're all gonna go one day and I'm never gonna be able to have any more. So I'm actually gonna keep these ones in the packet and not use them for a while, but put them to one side for when my other ones get too ratty. But for £2.50, these are honestly insane. Like these are so good. They remove every bit of makeup. They're even good at getting your fake tan off if you give yourself a real good scrub with one got another hair turban i got overly excited because i thought it was like this really good pink microfiber one that i got before from there and it isn't um but still they're two by 50 and i just can't have enough of these because i don't wash my hair all the time but they're just so handy to have around and i always sort of like misplace them and stuff so yeah i got another one and then just got a couple of pretty basic t-shirt bras i'm just so in need at the minute i was saying to my best friend last night I hate bras at the minute like i've never hated bras so much and i know it's because where i've put on weight i don't know what size i am at the minute i need to get measured desperately i don't know what size i am so they're all uncomfortable they're all hurting me i'm just don't want to wear them but i have to obviously for well, not when i'm at home but for work and stuff like wouldn't be appropriate poking people's eyes out at work so i just got this basic nude t-shirt bra i picked this up in a 38f actually because i think i'm about an e at the minute um but then the, some of my e's that i've got like 36 38 e's that i've got i'm getting four boobs so i thought i'll try it in an f if it doesn't fit then it's four pounds it's not the end of the world um but actually when i was holding it up to me I do think it will fit um but we'll give it a go um i like that it's got like the bigger back um not a massive one but a bigger one so yeah it's a plain t-shirt bra we'll try okay so this is the nude one in an f um and this sits flat which i think is better i'd say it's a little like literally just the tiniest bit too big so maybe it's more that i need a 36 
I don't know, I definitely need to go and get measured, but it's not bad at all. There's good quality for what you're getting for four quid. I also picked the same one up in white. I actually got this one in an E, so a 38E. Um, they look quite similar size-wise. So again, for four quid, I was prepared to take the risk and try a couple of different sizes. So we'll see. Okay, just in case you're interested, here is the white t-shirt bra on. It fits okay. I still, I think the F might be better because this, I believe, is supposed to sit flat and it doesn't quite... For four pounds though, I'm happy um, and they'll come in handy for under all the t-shirts and stuff. Then I just got another one of these little sets. I got um, a different shaped one last time, but a gray one with like a, a yellow band around the bottom and I act absolutely loved it. Like, I really, really liked it. And um, I don't know how this one's gonna fit me, but casually at home, I'm not too bothered. I got this in a large, which is a 14, 16, and these are a fiver. It's the only ones that they had left in my size. They had a couple of other nice ones, but they were all in extra smalls. So almost my size, but quite not quite. Um, but yeah, and the thongs on these, I mean, I'm not normally a thong kind of person, but I really love the other one. It's so comfortable. So I wish they just did multi-packs of these songs. And if someone comments below and tell me they do, then I'm buzzed for that. Because I did have a look around and couldn't see them. So yeah, we'll see. I got some of the longer socks. Um, these were £2.50. I got two packets. You get five pairs, but they're cushion sold, which I was interested in. Um, they feel really soft, so I'm excited to try those. I got two packets of those. I wear a pair of socks and I tend to never see them again. Like, I don't know what it is with me and small socks, like trainer socks and stuff. So I'm always picking some up. But yeah, hopefully they'll come in handy. It says there's three pairs. There's three pairs. Why did I count five? I don't know. Three pairs in each packet, £2.50. I also picked up one of their brow pencils. My very good friend Kelly always goes on about these pencils. She loves them. I went for brown. They're two pounds. I'm excited to see what they're like. I'm excited to see what they're like because as I say, she really likes them. But they are the sort of twirl up ones, which I love, like the um, Benefit dupes. I think that colour will work for me. So I'm excited to give that a go. I got another packet of little masks, but I actually went for this shape this time. The ones that I got from last time, and I've had them before, they're nice enough, but they're like really square. And they're just, I just don't find them as comfortable. I don't know what it is. But I'm all over purple at the minute, as you can probably tell. So I loved it. It had this little lilac one in it. So I thought I'd give them a try. They're £2.50. We'll see. Hopefully we don't have to wear these much longer. I can't wait for not have not I can't wait to not have to wear these. Honestly, I hate them so much. But there we go. They're a necessity at the minute. So I thought these ones were cute. I got another pair of sunglasses because I was just so impressed with the sunglasses I got from them last time. These ones were two quid. And I loved this sort of clear orangey colour. I hope that you can see that properly. So I just thought they were cute. And like I said in my last haul, for two quid, I'm not going wrong. Because guaranteed, I will lose or break all of the ones that I've bought from Primark. Or any glasses I buy from anywhere. Like, it's just what happens in my life. So, two quid. I thought the colour was really nice. I don't have any this colour. I picked up a lip liner. Now, I've never really tried Primark lip liners before, but I have been hunting for this particular lip liner for like over a year, definitely. Longer, probably, because so many people have spoken about it in the past, and it's in toffee. They're a pound. And it's just this nude lip liner that I've heard loads of people say is a really good lip liner. So... I love my nude lip liners. I'm excited to try it. I then picked up two packets of these little hair clips because I use these all the time. This is what they look like. They're two quid a packet and you get three hair clips, but these are so handy. These hair clips, honestly, come in so handy for me. I use them when doing my hair. So if I'm straightening it, styling it, curling it, whatever, to clip up the rest of my hair out of the way it's surprising how much hair you can fit in these clips like they're really really good i couldn't fit all of my hair in one and clip it up but what i do do sometimes if i just want to put my hair up in a bun quick i'll twist it all around put it on the top of my head and one clip will hold it in place for a certain amount of time and if i want it to stay there all day i'll use like two of them 
and it will last um but obviously remembering that i've got quite a bit of hair but i just love these they're always in cute styles and i noticed recently that i was running low on them um so yeah picked up some more i would recommend them if you haven't tried them already cool let's move on to some clothes first off i got this little body i picked it up in a medium because they looked really stretchy and quite roomy these were four pounds and it's just a basic body um but can you see that the material has got it's ribbed and it just has like quite a lot of give to it and i didn't want them to be like too baggy um it's got the little spaghetti straps and a little v at the front and i just thought these come in so handy if you've been here before you will know that i love a body like i'm even wearing one right now i'll be wearing one throughout the try on through this for these sorry um they just come in so handy i stick them on under so many different things like and again it'll be cute these come in handy for like wearing a pair of jeans and then if i want to wear like a big baggy shirt or something over the top these always come in handy so i picked it up in black it was four pounds i also picked up the exact same one in white again i got it in a medium i thought i'd normally get a large and things like this but i just thought they looked roomy enough i might be proven wrong but we'll see um yeah they're like high briefed on the bum and i just think hope that they'll come in handy okay i've just shoved the black body on um i've got this obviously in black and white um they're all right they're not very they're not the best made like the material doesn't hold its shape at all they're very high rise so if you're not keen on that these aren't for you but then if you are keen on it brilliant i'm gonna keep these just because they're really easy to have on under things so again i could wear it with a pair of jeans and a big jumper over the top I just like to have bodies on sometimes with certain outfits but it's not going to give you any shape they are i mean this is a medium and this has got so much room in it if i was to move around too much it would definitely fall under my boobs um it's just a basic but nothing to write home about i i'm all right that i've got them but i, put, I wouldn't be like oh you need these in your life you know so yeah, I got them in black and white. That's the black one on. I'm not going to try the white one on. For you guys, it'll be see through. I've got a black bra on and they're just the same. But yeah, you get the idea. They're all right. Nothing to write home about though. Right, so I've been reassessing my life recently. And obviously summer's coming up. Not today though. It is so gloomy outside. Like it's early on Saturday morning and it is raining non-stop. But anyway, I thought when summer's here, do you know what one thing I'm scared of wearing and I've always been scared of wearing is shorts? And even when I was at my slimmest and was literally like a size 10, I would still not want to wear shorts. And I'm like, why am I doing this to myself? Like, life's passed me by. I wish I wore shorts when I was a size 10. And I now want to wear shorts now I'm a size 16, 18. And these might not be the right shorts for me, but I want to try them anyway. Because if you don't try you don't know and i want to be comfortable this summer you know even if it's just sitting in my own garden like don't even have anything like this to wear just whilst i'm at home in the heat and then i'm struggling and i'm un uncomfortable why why so i picked up some shorts basically these are mum denim shorts i got them in a size 18 there's no stretch i don't know if these are going to fit and i could tell that from in the shop but i wanted to try it anyway it's the whole point of this and again i can take them back because i will be going back to primark because obvs these were 10 pounds and i like the mum style shorts because i like how they're folded up like this at the back i just think they look quite flattering they're not skin tight too it's absolutely not what i want all those although i think these might be but you don't try you don't know so let's see okay here are the shorts on and i'm absolutely buzzed like they fit me really well and they're really comfortable and i'm so happy that i went for it because like i said life's too short to worry about these things and even for when i want to sit at the garden at home so i've just got my body on as i always do but i think they look all right what do we think they're not as short as i thought they were going to be they're really comfortable i'm so happy 
I really didn't think that they were going to fit at first. And even if I was to lose a little bit of weight, which I probably won't, but if I did, I'd be happy with them a little bit baggy. Um, although I can still fit a bit of room down there, but I wouldn't want them any smaller. Um, but I could, I'd be happy to wear them baggy and belted because of the style of them. I am so happy with those. Girls, go and get yourself some denim shorts. Don't be scared of it. Don't be scared. And I, I would wear them like with a top tied up as well, a bit of belly out. Why not? I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm really pleased with those. I'm keeping them. And then I picked up another pair of denim shorts. I also got these in a size 18, but these are the ripped denim shorts. And this is what they look like. They're like really distressed, which I love. And they've got like a raw hem at the bottom. And I thought these looked a bit better potentially than the other ones because they are a bit longer in the leg so less danger of chub rub although i'm sure i'll probably still get that again got them in size 18 and these are 12 pounds so let's see like i said you don't know unless you try but again no stretch to these so mm. Okay, here's the next pair of shorts and I'd love to hear what you think. I think, I actually think I prefer them to the other ones slightly just because they are that little bit longer that I'm going to keep the other ones but I think those other ones are ones that I would definitely wear when I'm abroad or at home. But these ones I feel like I could wear in this country to like a picnic in the park or something and because you know if you want to sit cross legged but you still want to have your legs out or whatever you know what i mean um then i would be comfortable wearing these in this country whereas the other ones for me personally would be a bit more holiday vibes or in my garden or whatever but yeah they are a longer length like i hope you can see that i love this distress detail on them as well um yeah so different for me not what I'm used to but they're not tight on the legs here's what they look like from behind I think they look all right like I might watch this back and feel completely different but these ones as well are loads more roomy than the other ones but again I'm happy to have them slightly baggier it's cute isn't it just with a t-shirt like this I think I hope um, I haven't really looked at myself I'm just but you know and with a pair of like little Birkenstocks or sandals or whatever I'm really happy with those nice and high waisted I love the length of them yeah I'm really happy I think I'm really pleased that I went for it because I was in and R and then I thought Rosie come on man life's too short do it and I'm happy I have because it's something different for me anyway. I then got a pair of normal jeans. I got some straight high rise jeans. I've been looking at straight jeans recently. I've really wanted to try a pair. Um, my mum, if you saw the haul that she bought me some clothes from Boohoo, got me a pair of more straight baggier jeans, like mum jeans, but straight legged. And I really liked how they looked. So I wanted to try some actual straight jeans so i thought i'd give these ones a go again size 18 these were 15 pounds and i really like the wash on these and they are again a raw hem at the bottom which i really enjoy um they are high rise which i'm not ever going to buy any trousers that aren't high rise hun like it's never going to happen um they're basic they're not distressed or anything which i quite like because i'll be able to team them with loads of different things Again, I don't know if these are going to fit. Loads of people have been complaining about the fit of jeans Primark this time round. Um, but, yeah, I'm not going up to a 20. Not that it matters. But, and if I tried these and they were so tight, I thought I needed a 20. I'm happy to go back. But I'm just not going to get a 20 first time round. Because I would rather try an 18. And see, basically. Right, guys, what are we saying on these straight leg jeans? I think I like them. Like, I think, I, I really like the wash of them. Like, these are, this kind of wash is good for the summer and the winter. I really like the leg on them. I like the cut. I like where they stop. I just think these look so cute. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about them on the belly area. But to be honest, I would probably wear them with, like, get my breath back. I'm out of breath. For these jeans, I would probably wear them with, like, an oversized shirt to, like, hide my tummy in them a little bit. Um, so I'd probably do something along those lines so you're not drawn to the tummy but like you can still see the shape of the jeans I think they're quite nice I wish the bum 
I wish the pockets were higher up. The higher the pocket, the better your bum's gonna look. And these pockets are low, so it's not gonna be making my bum look best. But for a 15 pound pair of jeans, I don't think they're bad. I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna keep them yet. I need to watch it back, see what I think. Of course, your comments always help as well. And I think maybe try a couple other things see what I can style them up with but I'd love to know your thoughts and for me I'm a 16 to 18 and all the 18s in the denim have fit me fine so yeah I know a lot of people have had problems with Primark jeans recently but for me they've been alright. Oh I got another packet of my trainer socks as well you should get five in these and they are three quid I love these trainer socks they're completely invisible but comfortable at the same time. Okay I got another pair of trousers and these are so far out of my comfort zone, it's untrue. But I saw them and I thought, I want to try that. I want to try those. These, again, I got them in a size 18. And they were £13 and it doesn't say what they're called. But they are like elasticated waist, like granddad trousers. Like These remind me of my granddad. My granddad used to wear this colour all the time. They've got pockets on, but they've also got this lovely seam running down the front. And then they're cuffed at the bottom. I thought... If these fit me, these could look so cute styled out of a pair of heels. Like, oh, I just love the idea of them. Love that it's an elasticated waist. I'm really excited to see what these look like on. I hope they look all right. I don't own any trousers this color. In fact, I tend to stay away from light colored trousers because they just scare me. But I want to push myself out of my comfort zone. So let's have a look. Okay, here's the trousers and it's going to be a no. I just wish they were slightly more high-waisted. They're really cute. I think they're really nice. And I'm going to look out for a similar pair. But these ones just aren't the ones. I just need a little bit more room here. Because really, I think they should be more worn further down. And that shape, that style just doesn't work for me. Like I need things up over my hips. I love the idea of them though. I think they come to a really nice point, really cute on the ankle. Here's what they look like from the back. I don't think they look too bad. I really love, if these like are your thing, then you, the sizing is brilliant. The material so soft and nice. It's a real shame because there were so many things that I would love to wear these with. But I think just how they're made around here is just not that flattering on my tummy. I need probably not on elastic waist to be honest i probably need like working zip it's got a fake zip there i need like working zip and buttons and a bit more of a better structure and then come down from here and um, but that's just my shape if you like these though i love them and for the price not bad but these ones will be going back if you watched my recent haul that i did from nasty gal um i tried a midi skirt on there and it just wasn't 100% the right fit and then I saw this one in Primark and I fell in love with the print and I haven't seen this on anyone else's haul yet. This I got in a size 18 again it was £13. Look at this beautiful print. I just thought this was so cute. I don't know if it's going to fit me. These I've never found one that suits me and that I'm comfortable in. It's got a slit up the front which I love and it's got a bit of ruching detail here as well. It's got a button and a zip at the back. I'm really hopeful. They did this in a dress as well, if you like this pattern. The dress wasn't for me, um, but they did do it in a dress. It was super, super cute, but I just knew the shape of it wouldn't suit me properly. But I'm hopeful for this little skirt. Okay, I've just panned you down a bit so you can see the skirt. And, oh, I love it. But again, I've got the same problem I always have with these skirts. And look, it is so roomy around here yeah I could not go down a size around here so around here fits me absolutely perfect around here it's just bagging like can you see it's not going to fall down anywhere because it fits me perfectly here but around my waist it's like all baggy can you see but that all being said I absolutely love it I love the print it's so soft and comfortable this fabric and I love this slip with the ruching as well so I'd love to know your thoughts on it here's what it looks like from the back so again so much room around the top here 
like so much room and yet it fits me perfectly like around my bum and my hips but I love the length of it it's such a beautiful I love this print I love pinks and reds and stuff so yeah let me know your thoughts I'm not 100% sure um, but I'd love to know what you guys think but it's a really beautiful skirt if these do suit you and fit you well I then got this super cute little cardigan how cute is this I've got another cardigan from Primark which I absolutely love I got this in a large it was eight pounds which I thought was really really good and it's got all this little frill detail at the bottom so that's on the sleeves and then on the bottom as well I just thought it was so cute it's button all the way down you can write done up or undone Oh, it's really nice and stretchy. I just, I'm so excited about this. I thought this was a great find. And again, I haven't seen this on anyone else's haul. Okay, what do we think on this little cardigan? It is really, really cute. I'm just not 100% sure how I'm feeling about it. I love the sleeves. They're so cute. And I love this detail at the bottom. I just don't know. Is it showing too much through it? I think you can see all my lumps and bumps quite clearly. It'd probably be alright if I had a little vest on underneath or something but I don't necessarily want to put a vest on under it in fact I don't want to put a vest on under it I know that I don't um but it is super cute let me know your thoughts guys would really love to know um but it's really well made I think for eight pounds this is such a bargain I just don't know if this one's for me I have a similar one that I got from Primark before yeah let me know what you think and my last bit of clothing is this jumper it's one of their casual jumpers in this i love this color at the minute like it's everywhere isn't it this sagey color at the moment i thought it was so cute nice basic it has beverly hills written on it i went for an extra large i wanted it nice and big seven pounds for a hoodie like so cheap so cheap and i took all the other hoodies back that i got in my last haul so yeah let's see what it looks like okay here is the hoodie on and i'm here for it it's nice and oversized just how i like it um this is just something that i will just chuck on when i'm at home or happily live in if i'm running to the shops if it's a bit cold outside but i don't want to take a coat all those sorts of things like it's just casual comfy but i love this color these are so soft. I can't believe these are seven pounds. It's like fleeced inside. Absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I'm cute with these little jeans as well. It's a cute little outfit, like a pair of trainers, just cash. It's got like the sloped shoulder, which I always love. I always love a sh sloped shoulder. I love the print on it, little drawstrings. It's got a hood. Not that you need to see how that works, but in case you're curious, uh, always suited a hoodie meat. I love it for seven quid. And I had the other one last time for a tenner and it was just plain. And yeah, I, ju I think this is just for seven pounds. I love the Beverly Hills on it. So cute. 95, I'll let people think that's the year I was born okay everybody that is absolutely everything what are your thoughts overall i'm proper buzzed like the only thing i'm definitely sending back are those beigey trousers i don't want to take this jumper off for seven pounds i'm absolutely blown away i'm pretty happy with all the denim that i got let me know what you think about the skirt and the little cardigan the handbags i love all the little accessories all that sort of thing really really happy overall I was glad to see some different things this time as well and things that I haven't seen in other people's hauls. So please do let me know all of your thoughts. I'd love to hear them. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm also still running a giveaway over on my other Primark haul, which runs out in a few days' time. So don't forget to check that out. Follow me over on Instagram. I'll link it all down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.